Penfolds are of course one of the great names of Australian and indeed world wine. Um, a lot of that fame was founded on a wine called Grange, originally called Grange Hermitage, a wine that took the world by storm because of its quality and a wine which was developed by a winemaker who served with Penfolds for a long, long time from the 40s through to the 70s called Max Schubert. Now today Penfolds has a range of wines moderately priced, the Grange is now many hundreds of pounds per bottle, but they have a moderately priced range called the Max range, dedicated to Max Schubert, and I was recently tasting two new releases, the Chardonnay and the Cabernet Sauvignon, and thought the quality of both was superb, and both really deserve their Wine of the Week spot. So the Chardonnay is what I'm going to concentrate on today in terms of my tasting, uh, but the lovely Cabernet Sauvignon sourced from across South Australia, from Kunawara, from Rattenbully and from McLaren Vale, aged in French and American oak, only a little bit of that though, but 6 or 7% of it was new, and it's a really delightful Cabernet Sauvignon from Australia. It has all of that chocolate and rich, dense, deep black fruit that we so associate with uh, Australian wines but it has a lovely edge of energy to it through very nice tannins, very smooth composed tannins and very good acidity and it's a wine with real character. Uh, at £19.99 in Sainsbury's stores I can thoroughly recommend it. Now, as I say, I'm going to concentrate on the white. This is the Chardonnay, 2017 Chardonnay, and it comes from the Adelaide Hills. Now, that's another interesting fact because Penfolds had a project which many people called the White Grange Project, a white Chardonnay wine called Yatarna, which is originally sourced from the Adelaide Hills, although that production has switched to Tasmania now, and in fact, the kind of top end of Chardonnay for Penfolds has been replaced by Bin A as an Adelaide example. But the Bin A sells for £60-£70 a bottle. Here we have a wine from the Adelaide Hills, a Chardonnay, selling again for £19.99, this time from Waitrose. Now what Adelaide Hills uh, does for Chardonnay, it's one of the prime spots for Chardonnay in the Southern Hemisphere, and what it does is give winemakers a chance to make a relatively cool climate expression of Chardonnay. And here we have beautiful oak treatment, all French oak, about 20% of it new, and there's a kind of sheen of almond and oatmeal on top of this wine. It's not a heavy, toasty oak. Beneath that, lovely ripe fruit. There's kind of pear, succulent pear, even in peach a little bit, and there's a little bit of that flintiness that we so love in Chablis wines. Winemakers kind of create this by picking a little bit early, only 12.5% alcohol here, and by their use of sulphides, sulphur in the wine. And this is that complex, flinty, firecracker note, which is so intriguing in amongst the fruit. On the palate, It does deliver a beautiful glass of wine. There is the ripe, succulent pear fruit here. A little bit of peach just filling the mouth, but the acidity is excellent. That energy, that little bit of flintiness, that little bit of minerality coming through too. In a very stylish, new uh, style Australian Chardonnay at a moderate price. So a great pair of wines, the Cabernet Sauvignon in Sainsbury's at $19.99, the Chardonnay in Waitrose at $19.99. These are my wines of the week. Mm -hmm.